Yep, it's coming off. It's happening. Oh, one more time. Oh, one more time. Hi guys, Busher here. Hope you all are doing well, happy, healthy, safe, everything. Looks like we're gonna be in this for a little longer than we thought. So my prayers and good wishes go out to all of you. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are doing to keep yourself kind of going, motivated. I know I'm struggling. Uh, this week I was like, ooh. So without further ado, cause I know my intros are like, super long. I have a product that I wanted to review with you for a while now and I secretly have been just testing it out at home at work when I was going to work um, and I wanted to share my thoughts on the product with you guys. So I don't have the box anymore but I do have the product and it is the Sicily Paris Phyto Hydra Tint and I have it in the shade light. The more and more I use it the better I like it or the more I like it. I just I'm falling in love with it and I never thought I would. Now this launched a few weeks ago I believe. Before I go and make you all fall in love with it I need to disclaim how much it is. It is $120. <laughs> which is outrageous, let me say, but compared to like the La Mer foundation, in that you get, wow, it doesn't tell you on here. It's dumb, it's real dumb. This thing is dumb, it does not say. Wow, you would think on the packaging it would tell you, but it doesn't. So let me pull out my phone, let's see here. Should have been more prepared here, Bush. We're more prepared. It is an expensive product, okay. But when comparing to the La Mer Foundation, which I love, La Mer Foundation is 120 as well, and you only get one ounce. This guy, you get 1.3 ounces. <laughs> so it's a little bit more. Does this have SPF? Let's see. The claims for this is it's a tinted moisturizer that combines the effectiveness of a daily skincare product with a veil of color all in one. What it does. It's fresh, glide on, very light texture, melts into your skin to deliver a natural perfecting result and a bare skin effect. Check, 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 and check. It contains a healthy skin ingredient cocktail to help even correct and illuminate your skin while a beauty booster complex provides hydration and perfection to skin. Day after day, your skin's texture appears more refined and your complexion's radiance is boosted. How to use, apply with your finger tips or a fluid foundation brush using light strokes all over the face. Now I have to be honest, I have yet used a brush to put this on my face and that's because personally I like to warm up the product between my fingers and then massage it into my face just to get that really glowy, dewy, melted in look. For those of you who don't like using your fingertips, uh, maybe I will do the left side with my fingertips and the right side with a brush. Just so you know, a uh, comparison with a brush. Uh, I have not used it with a beauty blender. I'm afraid to, to be honest, because I feel like the beauty blender would just soak up a lot of product. And considering how expansive it is, I would not use a beauty blender. So what I have been doing lately, my base routine has been um, the By Terry CC Serum in Sunny Flash and Immaculate Light. I take a pump of each and I've been doing this lately with this particular tinted moisturizer and really loving the effects. I know that typically when I do my foundation routine. You guys know that I use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream with a little bit of professional in the T-zone, but since this is not a full traditional foundation, it's more of a tinted moisturizer, I wanna give myself a little bit of a lighter base um, and then go in with this on top. So that's my foundation base layer before I put this guy on. All right, so first things first, I'm a realist. First things first, I'm going to do my finger application on my left side. Now, typically when I've been wearing this, I've not put concealer. I use this as like a one-stop shop kind of a deal. Now, I do have to say, it does dry down pretty quickly. So you have to work fast. The smell is really nice. It's um, like a fresh fragrance smell. It's not obnoxious. It's not rosy or anything. I mean, not that rosy is obnoxious by any means, but it's got a faint fragrance. So before this dries, I'm gonna take the brush on the side before it dries down. Definitely gonna need more. Um, and that is the color there. And it's very thin. I'm gonna stipple it on the areas that I need more coverage. Definitely did not put any on my forehead. Now, when I use this product, it does feel like I have to use more than I would like because of the price, 
but once I start using it and it spreads out really evenly and nicely, it looks beautiful. I mean, it's not going to be a full coverage foundation, right? It's a tinted moisturizer. So you're definitely gonna see my, my fun little breakouts here, but for every day, I've been really liking that just because, again, I really like having my skin show through my imperfections. It's kind of the person I am. But the only thing that I would want to work on is my under eyes. I do have to say, looking at myself in the monitor, with the brush under my eyes, it does look a little bit more cover than with my fingers on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more to my right side, see if I can build it up because I actually have not tried doing this. I have not tried building up coverage. I do think that with the brush, I get a lot more ground and surface area than my fingers. So this is a pretty nice tinted moisturizer. It is buildable, but again, it's not for a full beat face, you know? It's not, it's just it's a tinted moisturizer. Yep. I think I kind of <laughs> like it with my uh, brush a little bit more than my hands. I feel like I get a little bit more of an even coverage. I feel like the product stretches a little bit better than with my fingers. Drag it down, because it is a touch lighter than what I'd like, but I'd rather go a shade lighter. Um, especially because I do use it under my eyes. What I do do to kind of make this work for me is I just bronze up as much as possible and that way it kind of fits my tone a little bit better as well as dragging the tinted moisturizer down my neck so it matches my face a little bit better. I think in the summer I definitely would be a shade too. Now the only con with this product is that the shade range is very limited. Now I know that Sisley is a luxury brand and luxury brands have a tendency of being very limited but I mean this guy only comes in three different shades one two and three and when I tried the medium this was a month ago okay to be real when I tried it on the back of my hand it was way too orange I, I wouldn't be able to pull that off right now so unfortunately even for like people who are fairer than me, you're gonna have a hard time finding a tinted moisturizer that would work with your skin tone. And then the darkest shade, golden, it's less dark, more golden, like it's more orange. But given the fact that it gives me this great, radiant, perfected, luminous skin, and I notice that I don't need to powder, which I mean, I don't have oily skin, so I don't need to powder in general, but under my eyes, I definitely do get creasing and breaking up of my makeup. But but this guy, I don't have to do that, which is great. One less product I have to carry with me or use. Um, so for me, this works well, a little bit light. Don't know what I'm gonna do in the summertime, which is fast approaching. So stay tuned. I plan on doing a little review in a couple of months with this um, tinted moisturizer on my Instagram page at Bush Review. I will link that down in the description bar as well. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and I will be right back. This time I wanted to show you the second shade that I have, which is shade two in the Sicily Fido Lip Delight. I have it in the shade two, pretty. Um, and in my previous video, I listed shade one, which was cool. Anywho, going in, I'm gonna, before I do that, I'm gonna quickly line my lips with my beloved Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Iconic Nude and Foxy Brown. Now you do not by any means have to line your lips. This lip gloss is really easy to use without a lip liner. I just like a little bit more definition to my lips, especially for this color. It's a little bit pinkier cool tone than I like, so I like meshing it with a lip liner to kinda, I don't know, make it less bright pink and more neutral. This is definitely a cool tone version of the other lip tint that I showed in my previous video, but it's a beautiful color and the consistency is to die for. 
So that's my finished look. Now, final thoughts. I don't know if you guys can tell with this guy on my skin. It's, it doesn't cover all your blemishes by any means, but you can definitely build it up to where it's a medium coverage, but it just gives you this great glow. Like my whole, like everything just looks really glowy, really put together. Just something that's quick and easy to throw on any base, really. You don't have to use the By Terry CC serums by any means, even just a, your regular moisturizer or SPF and then you put this on I think it's really lovely it works really well under my eyes don't have any creasing and so I really love it again it's very expensive like cringe worthy expensive but it's beautiful so if you can afford this and it's in your budget and you're looking for a tinted moisturizer without SPF oh right that's something I wanted to talk about this product does not have SPF which I love I'm very sensitive to certain SPFs now for those of you who have been with me for a while you know that I love the La Mer SPF and that is my tried and true beloved will never turn to any other SPF because my skin is so sensitive and so prone to like burn or breakouts or rosacea what have you so I really don't mess around with SPFs and I try to stay away from products that have SPF just because of my sensitivity and that's another reason why I decided to bite the bullet and buy this guy I mean besides the fact that I wanted to review it with you guys and I haven't made that big of a dent like I can't even see where I've where I have hit to be honest that's one downside with the packaging a uh, squeezy tube it's okay I would have preferred it something to be like in this like a pump um but I don't mind this again I use it with my finger so squeezy tube is totally fine for me so let me know if you guys have tried this product or what your thoughts are if you think that you know what Bushra now there's a better tinted moisturizer out there without SPF that I think you would love let me know I'd love to hear what you guys have tried and if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when my next video comes out and until next time stay beautiful stay safe and I'll see you guys later bye